I don't know if you can see the papers. I hope you can't because that would be bad. If I'm looking down, it's because I have paper here with me and I took notes. Originally, I wanted to make a video on hydroxozine. I think I'm saying that right. It's anxiety pills. But I did it because I, I just realized that I haven't been on the medication long enough to review it. I didn't get to do a review on the medication like I did with olanzapine or olanzapine, whatever you want to call it. Instead, I made a video on my depression. I hope this video isn't too sad. I don't want to talk about something that's going to make me sad, but I didn't really have anything else I wanted to talk about. I'm going to be talking about my depression and if you would like to hear about this video then please keep watching and if this video is not for you then obviously you can click off in today's video i talk about my depression at 11 years old and when i say this i mean i was 11 five years ago and now i'm 16 i'm gonna be talking about uh, my depression in the past i'm gonna be telling you when it first started happening to me my depression so let's start so my depression started like when i was around when i was 11 and 12 years old so that's when it first started happening so that was five years ago in the fourth grade this girl kind of bullied me and she and i'm gonna be telling you what she did so what she did was she made fun of my nose and she also would step on my shoes for being like 11 that made me feel sad you're probably thinking like what is wrong with my nose well there's nothing wrong with my nose in my opinion but if you were to see me in real life you probably understand what why she said that also in the fourth grade this boy um kind of not made fun of he more like kind of told me that I wore the same clothes every day and that made me feel sad because I felt like no one I feel like everyone was being mean to me this boy said that I, if I even brushed my hair so that is not very nice so in the fourth grade I that's kind of when I first started feeling like sad like very sad I remember not wanting to come to school and like feeling like like kind of like I had social anxiety like dreading going to school because I felt that I had social anxiety at that age and depression and if you know me I actually have social anxiety in real life and and that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm not in school right now now I'm going to be talking about the 5th grade. Okay, so now in the 5th grade is when my depression really started. Oh my god, there's a plane passing and I really can't hear what I'm saying. There was this really mean office lady and I would always go late to school every day. Okay, so this lady, I would have to see her every day because I was always late. And I was always late because I lived one city away from the school. And so every morning I would have to drive to that city where that school was just to go to school. And she was one of the reasons I was also depressed. Because this one time the lady, when I went into her office, <coughs> I went there because I was sick mentally and I wanted to call my mom on the office phone because at the time I didn't have a phone. So I went in there and uh, when I picked up the phone to dial my mom, the office lady, she um, yelled at me really loud and that scared me and she also yelled really loud in front of the students that were in the office waiting for their parents because everyone sitting there on the seats in the office are there for a reason, like they're getting picked up early. By the way, I guess the office lady doesn't count as a a teacher she was an office lady so i guess two te teachers made me depressed 
So this other teacher, um, she was my main teacher and she would always give me detention. Not always, she gave me detention twice because if you don't do your homework and you don't turn it in, that she gives you um, detention. And that obviously made me sad because I felt left out and I felt lonely because I had to be in detention at lunch time slash recess. There is this other teacher who was not my main teacher but she was a teacher that I would go to in another class to do reading and she was very mean to kids who were shy like myself and because they wouldn't participate and she didn't like that. She liked kids who participated in her class and would read out loud and I was one of the students who didn't like to read out loud. It's because of those events that happened that made me miss a lot of school and you probably didn't know this about me but I actually skipped a lot of, or I missed a lot of grades and I also skipped grades because I of my depression and my anxiety and now I am I am in the 11th grade and back then five years ago I was in I think the fourth grade yeah ever since that those events I miss a lot of grades you probably didn't know this about me but I skipped and missed a lot of grades and I just got put in grade ninth after missing after missing three grades after fifth grade I got put in the ninth grade and from there I missed school again I think one year and then I got put in 11th grade and that's what grade I am in now when I say I missed and skipped grades I mean that I did not show up. I also need to mention that I am sort of depressed now because of a boy who didn't like me back in the um, 10th grade and that was last year. Oh wait, yeah, in 10th grade that was last year and that's kind of a reason I was depressed for like a couple months. And then I got over it and now I'm a lot better. Three things that made me depressed and then one thing that's making me depressed now, even to this day. I would love if my family watches. I feel like they would understand me better. Is um, I'm kind of depressed now because of that boy. Because I just feel like I wasn't good enough and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to be telling you how I'm doing at the moment right now. How I'm doing now, five years later. Also, if I wasn't clear enough, I'm 16 years old now and I was 11 at the time when I first became depressed. Now, I would say I'm like, if I was being honest with you, I would say that I'm still depressed, but it like I don't know when I think it was like a week ago I started randomly feeling really good about things and I would wash my face I would brush my teeth I would go to the bathroom I would take showers um, and I would like communicate with my family and then all of a sudden again like the past two days before and now that I upload this it's probably gonna be like a week before but like yeah a week before but now um, I'm feeling like kind of depressed but at the same time like I'm feeling good about things. And now I am still depressed here and there about school. If you didn't know, I'm doing a lot better because I took a break from my high school, my new high school because I was really anxious a lot all the time and it was hard for me to be around. Um, other students and teachers and so that's why I've been taking like a two to three week break from school you're probably wondering why and let me just tell you why if I was gonna be honest with you I suffer from bipolar disorder psychotic features and um, social anxiety and and before you are quick to judge if you were a hater let me just say that 
I got diagnosed with those things, so I'm not self-diagnosing. I try to do exercise um, every week, at least three times a week, and sometimes I can't always go three times a week, but at least I'm moving, and supposedly exercise is good for your brain, and it gives you chemicals that make you feel happy after you exercise, I think. Also, ah, I why does my dad always feel like talking really loud when I'm filming? Now, I work on videos on YouTube. Lately, that's kind of the thing that I've been doing because I feel like when I feel when I feel alone, I like to talk to a camera and like especially on YouTube, like you can all sorts of people can find you and you can obviously have you can have people who support you. YouTube is a really cool thing for me to express my feelings and if you are someone who is depressed I would really recommend it. That's my story and I hope that whoever's watching this can relate to it because if not that would suck because I am looking for people to um, sort of like become my friends through the internet. I'm trying to build like a army of people that are similar to me and so I really hope that you like this video. That's my story and that's the ending. Thank you for taking time off of your day to click on my video. Don't forget to click that bell and subscribe button, like, comment, and share.